A STOCKTON TODDLER DIES DURING A DENTAL PROCEDURE AND TONIGHT HER EMOTIONAL MOTHER SPEAKS OUT ABOUT THE MOMENTS SHE LEARNED HER DAUGHTER HAD PASSED AWAY. THIS HAPPENED MONDAY AT CHILDREN'S DENTAL SURGERY IN STOCKTON. CBS 13'S ANGELA GREENWOOD JOINS US NOW. SHE HAS MORE TONIGHT FROM THAT GRIEVING MOTHER WHO STILL HAS A WHOLE LOT OF QUESTIONS. I CAN JUST IMAGINE. YEAH, AND SAM AND ADRIAN, UNFORTUNATELY, THERE AREN'T MANY ANSWERS TONIGHT. THE MOTHER SAYS HER THREE-YEAR-OLD DAUGHTER WAS HEALTHY, A NORMAL LITTLE GIRL, AND SHE NEVER THOUGHT FOR A SECOND SHE'D BE IN DANGER AT A DENTAL CENTER. BUT THEN SHE SAW THAT AMBULANCE PULL UP. These photos show three-year-old Deliza Avila Hernandez playing in the waiting room with her siblings at Stockton's Children's Dental Surgery Center Monday morning. Moments later, the little girl went in for a dental procedure, but never came out. The last moments, Araceli Avila would see her daughter again. When I was in the waiting room, I saw the ambulance. I stood up to see and I thought to myself, they are here for a child, but never thought it was my child. Avila says her daughter was there to get her teeth fixed, but 30 minutes later, she was rushed to the hospital where she later died. The nurse said my daughter's heart stopped, but she was stable and not to worry, and told me my daughter has heart problems that maybe I didn't know of, but that's not true. My daughter was very healthy. The dental center specializes in treatments under general anesthesia. Administrators couldn't confirm if that was part of the little girl's procedure, but did tell us both a dentist and anesthesiologist, along with a nurse and two assistants, are present in the rooms during a procedure. The risks are different. The, the process is different. Our emergency response is different. Um, and, you know, we have drills that um, to handle certain types of emergencies. Avila says she was required to read a long form and says it was in Spanish. The nurse who helped her also spoke Spanish. And as the Stockton Police Department and the California Dental Board now investigate Deliza's death, her mother just can't understand how a trip to a dental center could take her daughter's life. I hope what has happened to me doesn't happen to another mother. <laughs> Just so sad. Uh, the little girl, we are told, will be laid to rest next week. In the meantime, tomorrow, her friends and family plan to protest outside that dental surgery center at 9 a.m. asking for justice. Well, you're right. As you just stated off the top here, there are a lot of questions about what happened in that oh, place. Oh, yeah. My Something goodness. doesn't add up. No. It's sad and it makes you angry, yeah. too. We'll likely be hearing a lot more about this, I'm okay. sure. Angela. Angela, thanks. So what happened in Stockton is something that we actually have seen before. Caleb Sears of the Bay Area stopped breathing at the oral surgeon two years ago and died. And four-year-old Navia Hall of Texas suffered brain damage under anesthesia while getting her teeth capped. Now, some dental professionals say that sedating kids in the dentist office is too dangerous. In fact, after these deaths and other reports of injuries, a bill at the state capitol forces a second qualified person to be inside the room handling the anesthesia. But the big debate is who is a qualified second person and how much experience should they really have? This bill passed out of the committee, by the way, today. And to learn more about the bill moving through the legislature or some of the other tools dentists use instead of anesthesia, you can head to our website, cbs13.com.